Yo, what is up everyone? It's your boy here, Chanae, back with a brand new video. Today, I am going to be predicting what will happen on the final day of the Premier League season, which is on Sunday. We're also going to talk about some transfer stuff, but before we actually get into the video, make sure you smash a thumbs up, subscribe, and yeah, let's get rolling. Uh, first of all, guys, I'm going to actually start off with the uh, Premier League Football Writers Player of the Year, which is Jordan Henderson. Uh, if you do not know what this award is, it's basically a, an award which is given to players and it is voted for by, uh, I think, like people who write about football and like football journalists. Uh, I think last season, the player to win it was Van Dijk. Why life for? I think Salah won in the season before, then I think it was Kante um, the season before that. So obviously it is a very prestigious award, there have been some big players who have won this award, the likes of Ronaldo, Bayer, Rooney have all won this award. But what I don't understand is if you can give this award to anyone, why give it to Jordan Henderson? Fair enough, I do get it that um, it probably does have to go to a Liverpool player because of how good they've been this year and winning their first title in 30 years. But there are so many other Liverpool players to choose from who have been better than Jordan Henderson this season. You could have given it to Van Dijk, uh, even Trent Alexander-Arnold. Um, you could have given it to Mane, Salah. I mean, why give it to Henderson? I know he did play a big part in Liverpool winning the title this season, but if it was me, I probably would have given it to Mane, just because I do think he had the biggest influence on the team this season and on Liverpool winning the league this season. Uh, in second place in that award, I believe it was Kevin De Bruyne, and in third, it was my boy, Marcus Rashi. I've seen a lot of people um, coming out this morning on Twitter and on Instagram saying that um, Kevin De Bruyne should have won the award because he has had an astonishing season, 11 goals, 19 assists, so he actually beat that record of Yaya Torre, which was just a phenomenal season from him, 20 goals and 9 assists. So De Bruyne overall has 30 goal contributions in the league this season, which is just astonishing. To be fair, if De Bruyne did win the award, I mean, I would, uh, I'd say he would, he deserves it. But um, Jordan Henderson probably not. Um, I mean, I, I personally would would have given it to Mane just because Liverpool have won the league. It's the first league in 30 years, and he helped the team so much. But uh, if De Bruyne won it, I certainly wouldn't mind and I would definitely respect that decision, but I don't know why on earth Henderson has won it. But now, moving on to some transfer stuff, uh, Jude Bellingham, this guy, if you don't know who he is, he used to play for Birmingham and he has signed to for Borussia Dortmund, he's only 17 years old, he's the same age as me. And look at me, I'm filming YouTube videos and he's playing for Borussia Dortmund. He seems like a very talented kid uh, from what I've seen of him. Um, he, he scored some, uh, some goals for Birmingham City this season. And he has developed a lot of attraction from a lot of top clubs in Europe. Uh, Man United were actually favourites to sign him but he opted to to go to Borussia Dortmund, I think it was for the money and it was a deal which was worth about 25 million pounds. Anyway, it was a hell lot of money which he did go to Dortmund for and he probably is on very high wages as well but Birmingham City, the club that he actually left from, have actually decided to retire their number 22 shirt. This is the shirt which was worn by Jude Bellingham this season and Personally, for me, it is a bit weird why they're retiring it because I'd get if um, like someone like Real Madrid or Barcelona retired the number 7 or 10 shirt because 
obviously Ronaldo and Messi have just put in some insane numbers over their uh, careers at the club but for a 17 year old lad who just had one year at the club and it wasn't the most astonishing year it was pretty decent but nothing fabulous and yeah they've decided to retire his shirt which obviously shows you that Birmingham think this guy can really be one of the best players in the world but anyways guys just let me know what you think of that down below I, th I think it's a bit weird like if it was a club legend uh, I would have got it but uh, not for a 17 year old who's just had one pro season at the club now guys we are on to the main focus of the video where I'm gonna be predict predicting what will happen on the final day of the season so I'm gonna be starting off with the relegation battle which is between three clubs Aston Villa Bournemouth and Watford obviously Norwich have already been relegated so there's two more spaces to be filled one of those three teams will be safe and I think it will be Aston Villa I think if you look at the teams these guys are playing on the final day of the season uh, Watford go away to Arsenal and uh, I'm pretty sure that um, uh, Mikel Arteta will want to um, he help his side get ready for the FA Cup final next week by winning against Watford and as for uh, Burnmouth who go away to Everton or I think they have Everton at home um, I, I don't see Burnmouth winning I think they'll probably get a draw at most but uh, I think uh, Carlo Ancelotti's men will probably win that game so both Watford and Burnmouth will go down in my opinion Villa go away to West Ham who are already safe uh, they could have obviously been in this battle if they hadn't picked up some good results uh, in the, since the restart but they're not in it so, but I do think Villa will try and get a win at West Ham uh, I'm not sure if they'll do it but I, de I definitely think they'll get a draw and even if they lose it could still be enough to keep them safe now as for uh, European qualification I'm gonna quickly talk about the Europa League sixth place will be enough for Europa League uh, finish at the end of the season because Man City won the League Cup back in February and they've obviously finished in the Champions League place so it gets passed down to 6th place and I think Tottenham will get that 6th place. I just think that with Spurs going away to Palace on the final day of the season they will probably win at Sellers Park whilst Wolves have a much tougher game away to Stamford Bridge and I don't see them winning so I think that uh, Spurs will probably pip them to that 6th place finish but if uh, Arsenal don't win the FA Cup uh, Wolves could still get Europa League football now this is where it gets interesting guys the top 4 race the race for Champions League football uh, Leicester and Man United play each other on the final day obviously that's a huge game Leicester 50 United third uh, Leicester just a point behind Chelsea and United who are both level on points and I think the teams that will finish in the top four will be United and Chelsea I think Chelsea will probably win against Wolves so that will all they need is a point basically to get them the Champions League so I definitely think they will get that point or uh, a win which will guarantee them third or fourth spot. United also need a point to finish in the Champions League um, and I do think that they will probably win against Leicester. Hopefully that does a backfire but if not I think they'll definitely get a point which will be enough for a top four finish. But of course guys, if Leicester beat Manchester United and Chelsea get at least a point against Wolves, that will mean that both Leicester and Chelsea will finish in the top four. Um, but I don't really see United losing. But for me, I think that the top four will be occupied by Liverpool World Champions, City with clinch second place, Manchester United to finish third. I'm being optimistic guys, I think United will win at Leicester and Chelsea to finish fourth. Now on to the Golden Boot um, 
And I think it will be won by a Leicester City player, Jamie Vardy. Vardy is on 23 goals for the season. On second place is uh, Danny Ings on 21. And then I think there's like Salah and Aubameyang on 20 goals. But I don't really see Salah or Aubameyang getting a hat trick. And I don't see Danny Ings scoring um, more than one goal. So I think that Vardy will probably pick up the golden boot. And he has had an excellent season. He's had um, a goal. He did have a goal drought f uh, through a certain period in the season, but he ultimately has had a good season, and it is why Leicester are still within a chance of qualifying for the Champions League. As for the Golden Glove, I think it will probably be won by the Man City goalie Edison. Uh, City have already relegated Norwich on the final day of the season. I think they will win that and they won't concede, so Edison will keep a clean sheet. Uh, Burnley have um, Brighton at home, so and I do think that Brighton will probably score, which is why Nick Pope won their 16th clean sheet. As for top assists, you know who is going to be KDB, Kevin De Bruyne. He's six or seven ahead of uh, second place Trent Alexander-Arnold. Uh, De Bruyne has got 19 assists, uh, so if he gets one more assist, that, then he will equal Terry Henry's record of getting 20 assists in a Premier League season. I think he will probably beat that because they've got Norwich at home and I think he will probably get at least two assists in that final game. But I really wish he beats it because he's just been an outstanding player this season and with City not winning the title, I think that winning, getting the most assists in a Premier League season ever would uh, just be some clarity for De Bruyne in what has been a poor season for Man City. But yeah guys, that has been my predictions for what will happen on the final day of the Premier League season. Let me know your predictions down below. Uh, make sure you subscribe because we i want to get to 100 subs by at the end of the month so if you would subscribe that would be a massive help and uh, smash a thumbs up as well if you enjoy and yeah i'll see you in the next video